Hi, Lynn Zettler here from Core Impact Coaching, and today we're going to talk about the Core Values Index and the Innovator. The Core Values Index is the only assessment that I use with all of my clients. It measures your innate, unchanging nature, and as a leader, if you have a team, it's really important for you to understand your team members as much as possible so that you make sure you've got the right people in the right seats. That's what the Core Values Index does. It also helps by understanding each team member to understand what their core value nature is versus others so that they can communicate better, understand conflict better. So it's a great tool for your team to use and for you as a leader to have in order to make your team even more successful. Each of us has a unique recipe of these core values. There are four that we share at different amounts. Obviously, uh, there are numerous possibilities. Okay, based on the amount that you can score for each one, there's over 10 octillion possibilities. This also has a 97.7% reliability rating, whereas Myers-Briggs is around 74%. So it is huge. Uh, as you, if you haven't taken the assessment, what you'll find about it is it doesn't ask you questions or make statements. It just has words and you pick the words. That way it is much more reliable and it doesn't necessarily put context behind, um, behind the scoring. It's also been validated to the fifth grade level. It's even been used in some schools to help uh, teachers understand their students and those parents to understand their students as well. So we've got these four core values that we all share at different levels. We've, um, in this case, we're going to talk about the innovator, which is the third one, if we're going clockwise, um, whose core value is wisdom. So wisdom, again, if we're looking at the definition, is seeing the way things are and discerning what to do about it. That's wisdom. That's what innovators do. They assess situations and come up with solutions. That's what they do. That's how they learn. They assess and solve. It's really hard for an innovator, an innovator not to look at every situation in this way and assess what's happening, how it could be better, what's working, what's not working. It's just how an innovator is wired. Now, they're catalyzed further by compassion, meaning that they remain empathetic and curious regardless of the behavior and emotions of others. So even though someone may be doing something outrageous, an innovator will ask questions around the situation so that they can fully understand it rather than getting outraged and upset about what's happening. Um, you may already be thinking of some people that you know operate this way, where someone can be really emotional, but this person probably remains really calm and asks very neutral questions that's an innovator at work. Now, when their wisdom is being questioned or where an innovator feels that they're being made to look foolish, then that's where their anxiety comes in and that's when their conflict strategy and their fear comes in. So if someone's questioning their wisdom, they uh, can very easily go into an interrogation mode. And by that interrogation mode, what we mean is that you may be asking questions, but they're questions you already know the answer to or questions that make the person look small, right? So there, it's a, it's a way of, of shutting people down. That's what we mean by the interrogation. And that is the conflict strategy of an innovator. So when they're contributing and their wisdom is seen as something very valuable and every team needs an innovator with wisdom who can assess a situation and come up with solutions, maybe even several solutions to choose from, um, those are great team members to have. When they feel fearful and if you see them interrogating someone or shutting someone down, make note that that means that they feel that someone's not re uh, recognizing their wisdom. So um, that's when they're in their conflict strategy, that taking and getting zone. Something an innovator might say is, tell me more about that, right? Tell me more about that. What do you mean by that? Just innocent questions that are curious, 
and they want to get more information because they're assessing. They're assessing the situation. They're looking at it from all the different angles that they can think of. So how will this assessment help your innovators? Well, it will give them understanding of why others behave differently. They don't understand why people can't assess the situation. Why do people get so emotional about things? So for example, they're going to see those merchants get emotional perhaps and not really understand uh, why they can't take a step back and analyze the situation. They're going to learn other methods of communications to be more successful rather than the interrogation. They're going to understand the need for data from bankers. Bankers need data. It's not too hard for innovators to understand that because data is probably part of their assessment anyways. But they're also going to understand the need from merchants to look at the relationships. And they're going to understand the need for action and results from a builder. Builders want to move fast. Innovators, not so much. So definitely those two can definitely uh, get in get in some situations where they're going to need to have some understanding about the core values of each one and they're going to have more effective ways of dealing with conflict how do you do this what's the best way engage us to help your team we're going to provide assessments at fifty dollars a pop these aren't expensive assessments that are five hundred dollars for each person we're also going to conduct a two-hour uh, interactive workshop with your team to help them learn and integrate what they're learning immediately. It's very easy to integrate the core value index and the learnings. And then uh, you as a leader will receive the CVI results of all your team members. They will have already received them and they'll also receive a video. And then we're going to have follow-up coaching with you as well as a leader to integrate these new learnings. All these things will help your team be more successful and accelerate their success. So I hope you learned more about the innovator today. Go to the website. There's more information about the core value index there and call if you have any questions or would like a free consultation. Um, I hope you can think of some of the innovators in your life today and have a better understanding of why they may be asking you so many questions.